Yay! I just celebrated three years as a techie. Can you believe that? If somebody had told me three years ago that I would be in tech, I probably wouldn't have believed them. And for four, three years, I am a data analyst, a technical community manager, a tutor, YouTuber, and so many other things. And, you know, after these three years, I thought it would be interesting to um, take you guys through my journey and tell you about how I got started in tech. Um, for me, my own journey, I actually have a background in mathematics. I read mathematics as an undergraduate, and I'm one of those people that they told that if you read mathematics, you can work anywhere um at that point i thought it was a lie but right now that i'm doing data analytics i honestly don't think it's so much a lie now why did i think it was a lie because um after my undergraduate degree i started googling where mathematics graduates can work and i came across data analytics data science machine learning ai and all of all that but it didn't really look interesting i wasn't so excited to you know want to learn more so lazy to actually research more about this career path. And um, fortunately for me, the NYSD program came. I got a job as a customer service person, and I just pursued that field for a while. Now, fast forward seven years after my undergraduate degree, the tech boss was up there. The story about, oh, um, what should I, you should get into tech. Everybody was like, oh, get into tech. And for me, it was like, what next do I do with my life? And I came across data science again. And this time around, it didn't look so boring. It was quite fascinating. And combining my problem-solving skills as a customer service person with my mathematics background, I thought that, okay, maybe this part um, might be something for me or there might be something for me here. Yeah? And then luckily for me, I got a scholarship from an NGO called Ingressive for Good. They were giving out scholarships or they give out scholarships to Africans who are looking to pursue a career in tech. And I was fortunate to be one of the persons that he gave a data camp scholarship to learn on data camp platform for one whole year. It was a very, very fascinating um, thing for me. Um, and at that point in time, why it was very fascinating, I, 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 the data camp platform was kind of like a game changer for my career because at that point I did not have a laptop. So I was learning on my phone and data camp had like an app that you can um, learn on. So I downloaded that app and I was learning consistently, building for about four months. And in the fourth month, I worked on a project that sort of changed my entire career. I did this project where I had analyzed data around a popular reality TV show in Nigeria. And it went viral and I got a lot of recruiters reach out to me. And in that same month, I landed my first role as a data analyst under four months. Can you believe that? Um, after that, I dabbled into the field of um, data analytics for a while. My love for data visualization, I, I, I totally enjoyed building dashboards and all. And currently, I'm actually in the field of community management. I recently discovered community management. And because of my passion for wanting to help people, mentor people, this looked like another very interesting path for me to dabble in. So I've moved from wanting to be a data scientist to you know, my love for data analytics, exploring the data analytics field, to currently exploring my new passion, which is community uh, management. Now, some of the things I did that actually made my growth very, very fast was the fact that I was building in public. Um, every day I learned something, I'll come online to talk about it. I was making use of Twitter as a den to talk about my story, my experience, and um, something else I did was, uh, whilst I was learning, I didn't wait to learn, finish, I was building. Um, I think I had a project put out every month during my um, learning process. So I was learning, I was growing, I was building, and I was getting feedbacks from the community. Community is also another big part of my growth. And um, I'm like so grateful, I'm so happy, I'm so excited because, I mean, it's been an amazing, amazing three years. The network that I've made, the people I've met, um, the kind of connections I've made just by being in tech, it's been really, really, really amazing. And if you're, look, if you're somebody that you're trying to start a career in tech, my advice would be just start. You don't have to wait to be perfect, just start. Um, you know, start, learn consistently, you know, ask questions, join a community, build in public, seek feedback. You don't have to do 
um, the journey alone. Right now, there are a lot of amazing communities looking to help people uh, build a career in tech. Well, in the next um, couple of days, weeks, I'm going to be sharing more about my journey, some of the challenges um, I faced. I was able to navigate learning without a laptop and so many other things. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would advise that you subscribe, you know, like my videos and just stay in touch. Thank you.